Welcome back to Who Chose. Today on Who Chose, this, this is the triple pot autofill hydroponic system. Let's start the grow. <laughs> so this grow was a fairly interesting one because it got out of hand really fast. I mean, those beans are just such aggressive growers and I didn't really know what to do with them in such a small space. So I kind of made it up as I went and you'll see the grow room actually developed its own climate. So let's have a peek inside the tent. <laughs> She's wet. <laughs> the humidity caused precipitation on the top of the tent and it dripped down and actually caused rain. <laughs> anyway, so if you want to learn how to make this system, just head over to this video here. Uh, it shows you how to make the pot in pot in pot or triple pot auto refill hydroponic system. So to start with, I set up the system uh, as I did in the last video. I planted in the magic beans and they started to grow. Here we go.
how bloody cool is that? Um, as you can see, I've lost some of my recording equipment uh, to the jungle. And in the time lapse, you can actually see the microclimate precipitating down the side of the tent and there's no mold in here whatsoever on any of the leaves. This humidity has actually been really good for the grow. As you can see with this grow, I didn't really know what to do about supporting the plants. So in the time lapse, you can see I all of a sudden put up some trellising and it seemed to do the job. I'd probably use these again. They're just cone trellises, but this really isn't <laughs> the appropriate space to be growing these kind of plants. All right, let's have a look at the roots. Well, this should be interesting. I'm gonna do some damage here, I know. Oh, look at that. There's absolutely no roots going down into the bottom of this triple pot. So all the roots are concentrated within the top growing media. Again, nothing. That's pretty cool. Let's take this one step further and I'm gonna sacrifice this plant. Okay, let's have a look and see what's going on in this triple pot. Now I actually did have a root. Yeah, there it is. Had a root coming out here and I accidentally knocked it off as I was transporting this pot. So the roots are making their way down into the bottom, uh, whether this plant's too young yet for it to have needed to take up more space, we'll find out. Anyway, let's have a look. There we go. Look at that. Now that is a perfect example of how important oxygen is to the roots of plants. Now this is the reason why we use the triple pot method because uh, you're only getting a really small amount, a halo of the growing media, which is 60, 40 cocoa perlite in that anoxic zone. You still need that cocoa perlite to be in the nutrient solution to enable it to wick, but you really don't want much of it in. So usually you would limit that by the depth of your nutrient solution. However, in this scenario, we're limiting the amount of growing media in the nutrient solution by actually creating a cavity within the pot itself. And as you can see, um, we've saved this much growing media. Let's have a look what we have when we take this middle pot out. Oh, that's pretty cool. So things that I'd do differently on this build. I'd put holes in this internal pot. Now, I'd like to see the roots venture into the nutrient solution within the pots and allow them to explore that area, especially in the moist air gap that's created. Now, things that you could try to improve the oxygenation to encourage the roots out the bottom of the pots, you could put in some air stones and that would increase the oxygen content within the nutrient solution. Now, I feel like the air circulating within the buckets isn't enough to replenish the oxygen levels within the nutrients uh, to enable vigorous root growth. There are still roots venturing into this anoxic zone, uh, just searching for an oxygen rich area. However, I think you get an explosion of roots if you had air stones within the reservoir underneath. Now that actually might cause problems in the sense that if you get that completely full of roots, you may block the entrance pipe, but I doubt it. Um, the roots aren't going to go searching for the hardest nutrient, which would be in the pipes. They're just going to go for the easiest, which is just in the buckets. Uh, however, if you had a cucurbit or a plant that has really vigorous root growth, you may find that a problem. So this anoxic area within the pot might not be a bad thing, but a good thing to deter root growth within your system. Well, 
I hope you enjoyed this episode of Who Chose. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. If you really enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon. And I'll see you next time. Happy hydroponicking. <laughs>